Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to try something more interesting. We are going to try double exposure. This day is easy to do double exposure shots using uh, Photoshop or other digital methods, whether it's photos or on videos. Today I'll be choosing to do it the hard way. I'll be using my Afan uh, box camera and using photo paper and I'll do the double exposure through the lens. So what I intend to do is to cover the right side of the lens and then take the left side for the exposure and then cover the left side and then took the right side for the exposure. Right? When do well, we should have a single photo with two exposure. And um, what I intend to do is that I will be the subject. I will be playing chess with myself. So um, this is the first time I'm doing it. So I'm not so sure will I be successful. So to come along with me and see how the shot turned out. Alright, so these are set up for today. A chest set. Um, the idea is that we will do a double exposure uh, with me sitting uh, first on one, one side and then the second exposure I will move to the other side. So to give the impression that I am playing chess with myself. So uh, all this I do it as a single person. So I have to be both the sitter and also the photographer. Alright, so let me do the setup. Alright, so nice sunny day, very hot, but uh, let me pour in the developer. This is the Uford Multi Grid 1 plus 9. I just mix about 250 ml, pour into this tray. And then followed by the Uford Rapid Fixer, also 1 plus 9. Okay, and then we can put these two into the box camera. Alright, so this is the filter holder that I 3D printed the other time when I was doing my RA4 shooting. Um, there is a slot here. Right, there's a slot here where you can insert the jar filter. So for today's shoot, what I've done is to cover it up with PVC tape. This is uh, light proof black tape and after um, testing and looking at the ground grass I find that I will cover about this much right out of the whole um, lens diameter I would say that maybe like uh, around two-third right I find that by this distance by covering this much it will block up about half of the image so that only half side of the photo paper which I'm using Uford 5x7 photo paper will be uh, exposed right? and then uh, once I do the first exposure I will rotate it this way so that the other half of the paper will be ready for exposure for the next shot right? so a simple setup for this double exposure So to do my own self-portrait, I will use this long bar, um, air bulb shutter release. Um, this is pretty long and uh, this end will go to the shutter release slot on the 4-5 lens and when I'm ready, I will just squeeze this off. Right. When using photo paper as the negative, the exposure time is usually around a few seconds. So what I can do is just squeeze it off. You can see that the plug will come out. That will trip the uh, shutter. And then when I'm ready, I will release it back. Uh, because the um, lens is set to bug mode. Alright, so these are the results. I make quite a few attempts because uh, sometimes the exposure is wrong. Like this one, right? This side is very much overexposed. So, so these are the few that is uh, more balanced in the exposure, as you can see here, right? Both the left and right exposure seems to be uh, quite well balanced. 
Similarly for this, despite the alignment of the paper in the frame, uh, planted but uh, exposure wise I think it's quite balanced. Right? And um, same for this, the alignment is out but I think the exposure wise is quite balanced. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. As you can see, I had some mixed results, but I would say that the double exposure shot is successful. It took a while to figure out how much to cover on the lens itself using the lens filter hood that I made earlier. And I also think that will depend on the focal length of the lens that you are using. So for a large format lens, I think I cover slightly more than half, that will be quite nice. And uh, of course, this is not the only way to do double exposure on camera. Uh, this is, there are other ways to do it, including maybe covering up the photo paper, you can cover half of it and then expose the other half and then switch around and then you should get a double exposure also. And some people prefer to do it in the dark room where maybe they can um, do two exposure under one enlarger or two enlarger to expose two different negatives. So all these are uh, interesting stuff that you can try. I may try this in the future and if I do that, I will make sure I put up a video also. And thank you so much for watching. So if you have any other thoughts, do leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Before I go off, please remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification so that you'll be informed of the next video. Okay, see you in my next video. Take care. Bye! Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel, and i see you in my next video. Take care. Bye!